With the Cowboys' woes and running back, it is tough to envision a resurgence of the run game. Just take a listen to what Jerry Jones thinks about the run game. And we need to um, uh, be more uh, physical and we need to run better. Be specific. Even insiders at the star are writing articles about the potential prospects to fill this void at running back. So I looked through the 30 day visits and found a late round gem that isn't getting the attention he should. That player is absolutely electric. He brings the energy we need to add to this team perfectly and the quickness to run outside the tackle stretching the field. With so many variables in his game, he has the potential to be unstoppable. With the agility to cut on a dime and get downhill, making his opponents look just downright silly. This running back has the potential to make waves on this football team. A former receiver turned running back with breakaway speed and versatility. He can be special on any team he brings his talents to. With the contact balance and toughness to fight for extra yards after contact, we are taking a deep dive on Cowboys 30 day visits, Tyrone Tracy Jr. Starting off, Tyrone Tracy is a very unique prospect coming in at the running back position, having 113 carries for 116 yards, averaging 3.6 yards per carry. With his running style paired with his ability of being a former wide receiver, I feel like he would be a great fit in the West Coast system for someone like McCarthy to be able to use as a dynamic weapon in and out of the backfield as far as running the ball and passing the ball efficiently. He also ran a 4.48 at his combine, so he does have breakaway speed. I would say home run speed at times, but mostly breakaway speed. So he can definitely hit 40 to 50 yard runs. I feel like one of his underrated traits is making people miss in his elusiveness. While I feel like he's inconsistent in his patience following his blockers, he still is really only technically a first year running back. So he still has plenty of room to grow in the running back department as far as vision goes, but the traits and the ability to make cuts and explode downhill are very much there. With his ability to make people miss in and in tight spaces and in wide open spaces, I feel like that could be something that would be very much appreciated at his position. Now, I feel like Tyron Tracy's biggest traits come with his ability to be versatile. When you talk about his ability to receive the ball and catch the ball out of the backfield, it is definitely on a higher level of most running backs coming out of this year's draft. Not only has he shown slight production in being able to be a decent receiver, but now that is also secondary to his job at running back. So it will make him a lot better of a receiver coming out of the running back position, becoming a threat out of the backfield for a linebacker to cover in space. Now, I feel like his biggest knock is his production and his age, but at Iowa State, he was a wide receiver. So that is the reason for his long tenure in college. As a receiver, Iowa did not use him like he wanted to. So he ventured on to Purdue and Purdue had him be receiver mostly for the first year over there until they finally decided to pull the trigger and let him become a full-time running back. Tracy Jr. was also fourth in the combine's athletic score. So this helped display his athletic ability. In Tower Tracy's combine interview, he actually compared himself to a former cowboy. Um, but from a running back standpoint, um, I would say uh, Tony Pollard uh, from the Cowboys. Now, I believe that he is best paired with someone um, more of a traditional running back. So I would say he would be more a, a similar Tony Pollard, 1B to 2A, and come in and change the pace and really is a slasher. Now, I feel like something that Tyron Tracy also brings to the table is his gadget play ability. Now, in this West Coast system, we've seen a lot of things um, similar to what Turpin is doing, a lot of end arounds, a lot of wildcat stuff at times. And I feel like he can also do those things as well. So showing a couple clips that I wanted to let y'all see, he's very dynamic coming out of the backfield as far as stretching the field. Currently, the Cowboys only have Rico Dowdle, Hunter Lupke, and Deuce Vaughn at running back. So they're definitely looking to draft one or two running backs. As Tyrone Tracy dances in the end zone, I just wanna tell y'all to dance right to that subscribe button. Not only one, not two, 
not three but four of my videos got over 1k so i thank y'all and i appreciate it so much so make sure you subscribe pressing the watermark below or pressing the card up here what guy with 80 subscribers is doing the stuff that i'm doing man hit that subscribe button let's go i wanted to also put some pass blocking in here as well because i wanted to show you guys the full picture around him you know he's actually willing to block i feel like he's lacking a little bit of strength in the blocking department but he is his effort is very good as you can see in this clip here he actually blocks two defenders allowing his quarterback to convert a tough first down to his tight end he also can return punts and kickoffs for you as well which is great too to add to the versatility as well so this guy really can do it all and i feel like he's somebody that's been pretty slept on in these 30-day visits i haven't seen anybody really talk about him as much um, so I just wanted to shed some light on a really good prospect that I feel like Mike McCarthy might pull the trigger on. Ben Laramore on Twitter actually made a good comparison to Montgomery being drafted by McCarthy. Montgomery and Tracy Jr. combine testing and measurables are very similar to each other. If you're looking for a guy that can be versatile, he definitely can be that for you because of his dual threat upside. I feel like you can take him between the fifth and the sixth round. And I feel like he's a late gem that a lot of people should not be sleeping on. If y'all enjoyed this video on Tyron Tracy, I have two others that you can watch next if you haven't already. Make sure y'all click that playlist above. Now you guys might be saying, Chris, we're never gonna get somebody like this. They're not even gonna drive running back. They're just gonna treat it like it's nothing. They're just, you know, gonna rely on Deuce Vaughn and Hunter Luki. And like I say, if you love the star, believe in the star. Peace.